I feel like you're getting smarter the further your glasses slide down your nose, so. No, it just, my ability to read gets better. And to kick kids off my lawn. This is my competition sled for this winter. We're having a, a little rally-like competition where we've got to drive to the end of a non-maintained road in the winter, so it's nice and, you know, safe. Why don't we see if it has spark? Nothing? No. Nada. Nada, huh? So new coil, old CDI. No. Spark on there. So there we go. Old stator is off. Let's go get the new one. New old one. And we ended up with a whole extra citation. <laughs> this is the one we've been trying to get running. And we, uh, we put out a word asking if anybody may have a stator or something for it, and uh, someone was like, well, we have a whole sled that you can probably use for parts for yours. Turns out this one runs. How well, we don't know, so we still may be doing parts bashing. We brought just the little aluminum trailer with us today because the charger is still on the car hauler and Greg's borrowed car hauler is back at Greg's. So we're gonna have to just kind of stuff everything in here the best that we can and hope for the best. There's no chance the truck will break down, but if it did and we had a working skidoo. <laughs> yes, we could just skidoo home. Pick As up. I've said in many of the videos, it must also be known that Mark and I have zero, well, Mark has a little more than I do, but next to zero experience with snowmobiles. We've lived in the north where there's lots of snow all our lives, never had a snowmobile. Oh, I don't know much about them at all. I ride them from time to time and fall off them at the ski hill, but as far as repairing them and stuff like that goes, it's always been somebody else who's fixed them. I have... Oh. I have very little idea how they work or any of that sort of stuff, which I guess is part of the fun. Right? I don't even know how to ride them. I know you turn the bars and still go straight. <laughs> oh, even the light works. Also, be careful with that, because this might be the one where it, it likes to... Uh, zaps you. Shock oh, you. The, <laughs> the kill switch will give you a zap? Yeah. yeah the, the mint machines, I must say. <laughs> this is the other one that runs. Well, it did run. <laughs> Two years ago. I thought it was in better condition. The hood, until I saw it and remembered why the hood is like that. And you can blame my brother. <laughs> um, uh, I think they tried to get it running, but there was no spark. Oh, okay. So it, I think my dad was saying something about the coil. Something is replaced on it. Okay. You notice on it, it is unique though, because someone transferred all the things and called it a Cadillac. <laughs> the Escalade. Escalade and everything. Cool. Okay, car and stuff like that. Yeah, um, and I think there's still a whole engine to it, taken apart right in the garage, because we did take a couple pieces. Yep. We got it in here. No way! That thing is awesome! Dad, you said it's a 70, 70 something anyway. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, just, just load the other ones on first, and we might just throw this one in the back of the truck. <laughs> well, one of them goes on first. That's good, dude. Watch, I can be some Yep. Yeah, you guys aren't going anywhere. Amazing.
Perfect. We're back home after our little adventure. Lots of parts. Sleds are in the backyard. What do you think? Got a carb. Uh, I don't think it's awesome. And then this one will try to get it going. They said they thought it was the coil, so we'll try a coil because there's actually one in all of the parts that we got. Time to tinker. Oh, I like how they have these spare spark plug holder things. Have Be those. able to give that a pull. Tons of spark. Well, we have spark on that cylinder. Let's try this one. Okay. Tons and tons of spark. There's zero reason this thing won't run. We decided after dropping these off last night and seeing that there was actually spark on the one that wasn't supposed to have spark, that we'd come back this morning and see if we could get it to go. So we ran over to the store, bought some brake cleaner. Tim's just pulling the spark plugs out now and then we'll give it a spin and see if we can get it to run. Can I get you to give her a pull? Uh, all right, we may have found our issue. What's that? I think those plugs are just dead because this one had spark last night. No one pulled a spark right now. So let's see what this guy does. Spark on that one. Let's see what this one does. Oh yeah, no, tons of spark on that one. That one's good. All right, so now I need a brake cleaner. So you're gonna do it wrong. Do it really wrong. Okay, give her a pull. Yeah, so now just figure out if it's fueling or not. And, but we know she runs. So after a brief hiatus from all things snowmobile, we're back at it today. Tim's a little bit busy this morning, so Mimi came down to give me a hand. And what we're doing is we're taking the dead citation. We're gonna load it back up in the trailer and get it out of here. We're gonna take the other moto ski, which you saw we managed to get sort of started the other day. Tim's gonna come down and see if he can get things going on it. So then we will have three snow machines for the Cheap Snow Challenge. Look at how nice and clean it is. I think you might have a crack in the hood maybe down there too. So the hood's not in great shape, but it lifts up and much falls right off. Ooh, orange. Orange means a speed part from what I understand. And basically what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you call this cheating or not, but I've pre-rebuilt a carb, pre-rebuilt. And we're going to just plunk it in line here. Because I guarantee that guy needs some work. So we'll start by popping this off. We know the drill at this point. And of course, they all look good down inside and all this kind of stuff. The slide is good though, that's what we're gonna keep. Well, this still has, wow, that's stretched out. An oil injector, look at that. It's just, we forgot the key. And believe it or not, the key is still intact on this one. So, um, the key is probably about two and a half blocks away. Instead of doing that, I figured, you know what? I bet I can drill out that ignition. It's done all the time. They do it in movies. It's perfectly fine. I can do it. So I got my handy drill. One of the world's worst drill bits. I managed to drill out the top pretty well. 
but the old screwdriver fix still wasn't working. So what I discovered is if you jam your drill in there just like so and actually break your bit off because you don't possess the actual skill to use a power tool, oddly enough you add the screwdriver influence afterwards and uh, you know, it turns on. And just in case we weren't sure that it was properly doing anything, it's not doing anything. Oh, it's making noise. Well, hold on. Questionable sled number two, up and running. I have a feeling that the mix that's in it might be a little strong. That's okay. Keeps the engine lubricated. Do we have any gas actually in here? I don't, we're running on a, I don't know how this is running. There's no gas in there, but it's running. So let's put some proper gas in. Carbs I didn't need to use apparently. And a whole new thing of Harvest King gas, which I'll open here. Ooh, do I have you in a good spilling view here? It's going to go spillingly. Yep, perfect spilling view. Here we go. I know there's a proper way to do this so it doesn't do that little chugging thing, but uh, wow. I don't know what it is, so we're just going to spill gas everywhere. It's good. Cleans it. It's dirty. It needs a solid clean. Because if I do it this way, so there's less air in it. Ah, that's what it is. Let's redo our prime here and see if we get something more than oil. Oh, there it is. That looks a bit better. Flooded it. Doesn't want to start now. Really doesn't want to go. I think I flooded it. I'm gonna let that sit a minute until it defloods. Here's something I think is cool, but probably no one else will. Had a power glide transmission in it. I actually had a power glide emblem across the back, or so I think. But it has been broken for so long. And this is sat in the same position for so long that if you move this aside, you can still see pow in the rust. I also figured out something that no one should ever do. Or maybe people do it all the time. I don't know. I have extra carbs because I figured I was going to have to change a carb today. Turns out I'm just changing fuel line because, man, that stuff snapped like spaghetti. So turn on your old heater. of the oversized fitting while it's You can tell by this struggle that I'm actually working on something, but there. And now if I leave it on there like that for a minute or two, it will end up like this with a little flare on the end to make some. We're going to stick this previously melted and lovely side on the carb. Bring it under like come nut and on to your fuel filter. That will hopefully be better. And then what am I doing? I have a plan. I had a plan. I still have it. It's just not as yes. Okay. Okay, let's go get all of the pieces that I picked up. So here's an interesting bit of uh, anarchy that we're gonna do on this. How about to the primer 
Yeah, we should do the primer after the filter, I guess. Do you hate it when you have to do things properly? I don't know. We've never tried it. Let's see how it goes. Whoa! Flow pattern is that way. So, fuel pump. There we go. Fuel pump to filter, which is a huge filter. This is the, believe it or not, this is the smallest filter they had. <coughs> and then I need a little chunk. Also my nickname in high school. You think after doing so many of these, I'd be smart enough to use a little tiny bit of lube to get this on? Yeah. All right. Moving on. No oh God. No oh Lord. Oh, what's going on? No, oh, this isn't good. Oh, it's stuck. Good news is there's gas in it. Bad news is it smells like. Well, if you smell, oh, that side comes right off. You know when you're like forcing something on and you're like, hey, this is uh -oh. a great idea. And then you come back to it a week later when you actually have the right parts for the job and you go, why oh why? And I don't want to break that off, which is probably what I'm about to do. Well, at least we're proving to the world that no matter how simple and slow you are, you can still work on a skidoo. I just gotta switch the position of this. So what I should have done, or what I meant to do, was pay attention to things and actually put this before the filter, not after it. Avar, we are. Tuesday. Now this needs to go from his ah to his ba. No, oh, that's perfect. I do it like that. You heard me say it. So now that is in line, and I just have to pop that back off because I don't need that anymore. I wasn't, oh yeah I do, mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> we've got to do our filter. Filter review. There we go. Now let's see if our primer will prime our filter. <gasps> it's a prime and prime. Oh yeah, she's filling up. And I'm a little too excited today. A little too excited today. Wait, a little too, <clears throat> there, ah! there we go. Managed to train this about as well as I've trained. Ah! I knew something was going on down there. You there, you stay on. Something's leaking? Well, yeah, because the fuel pump pumps. If you pull this off, I was just making sure this wasn't pulled off. I have to anchor this right to something. So it stays on there. You know, or I could actually do it properly and put a clamp on, but. Why? like a kitten coming out of the snow this is my video shoot sweet jesus be right back going to file for divorce i'm swimming to you like a two-bit hooer, but... Yeah, whoever was running it before us... Running uh, rich? Well, it was running on what, like, the dregs that was in the bottom of the tank. So it all sits in the... 
expansion take? That thing is fast, though. I don't know anything about sled, so I'm sure it's actually slow. But to me, it's a... Uh, I'm impressed by it. <laughs> That's what you get with a Cadillac. Right? And it's an Escalade. And the uh, hood even stayed on. So, you know, we're winning all around. Oh, there we go. So, the premise for the crappy skidoo challenge was find yourself an old busted up sled, fix it up, and see if it's going to make it. Unfortunately, it seems as though I've fixed all the sleds. So no one's going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> we're all done. We're doomed. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Although I now want to plumb the yellow one with the same fuel idea that we did with this one. I like that. I may do that. <laughs> 